Uh, yes, ma'am. I was um, able to gain access to a couple areas uh, yesterday, and uh, really, it was it was unbelievable. I mean, it was totally devastated. Probably 95 percent of the homes just burnt uh, all the way to the foundation. Mm. How about your own home? Is it okay? Uh, fortunately, we were, uh, you know, it was probably about a mile, mile and a half away, and uh, everything was good at my home, and all the staff here, and, and their homes, and families, and, you know, every, everybody came through really well. And so I was talking with some uh, other local businesses today that, um, you know, a lot of the employees were affected, losing their homes, had nowhere to go. So uh, I'll tell you, the Red Cross, um, just the authorities down here have done a tremendous job. Uh, providing uh, lodging and providing shelter and food and all the surrounding communities and counties and even states have been just been incredible. I mean, for people who don't know this part of the country, you know, first of all, it's absolutely gorgeous. But second of all, you know, we're talking resorts, cabins, Dollywood. This is a mega um, draw for tourists. What What is your message to people right now? You know, I, I would just ask that people um, don't let this deter them from, from coming, okay? Um, Sydney Forge Pinky was relatively unscathed. All the attractions were open and running. Dollywood's going to be open Friday. Gatlinburg, the main business uh, street in Gatlinburg, is, is going to be fully functional. It's probably going to take a couple, three days to, or even a week to get it up and running good. But everything is intact. And the best thing that people could do to help us is to, to come down here to still visit to support all those small local businesses that rely totally on tourists. Absolutely. It's hard to imagine just based upon some of the pictures we're looking at, but I do know, and you're absolutely right about Pigeon Forge and other areas, thank goodness um, they're A-OK. -okay. John Madewell, we're thinking about you in the community. Thank you so much, and thank you for being with me. I'm Brooke Baldwin. The lead starts now. Thanks, Brooke. Well, they warned everyone. They said if more of you voted for Hillary Clinton, Goldman Sachs would end up running the country. The lead starts right now. Critics accused him of building a foreclosure machine to fix the bones of the Great Reception. What could 